Niha YouTube, what's going on? Zalan to China. We will continue our review about this Chinese handheld for 17 euros or 17 dollars. And we just want to see is it worth the money. In our first part, we have seen um, the first 25 games. And as you could see, you could play this handheld. Uh, on the way or even at home it feels like a real NES or SNES console and so far in my opinion it's kind of worth the, the money and um, yeah today we want to have a look at 50 other games of the total of 300 games and I think we start with the first game right away which is Mortal Kombat 1 Five? Four? Hmm. Let's see about this. Yeah, looks like a four. Okay, the graphics is really bad. Now let's see. Okay, I can't do anything right now. Okay, the opponent was choosing something. Who am I? Hang on, who am I? The graphics suck? It's not playable. Forget about Mortal Kombat. Alright, there's the uh, original Adventure Island, finally. We've got all three parts. Not the Mario one this time, but the real one. Let's see how it plays. Yeah, it plays great. It plays exactly like the original one, no doubt about this, great game, great game. I don't want to stop playing this, it's a cool game. Then we have Adventure Island 2. Yeah, we've seen this with the Mario one. Mario Adventure Island fake, but this one seems to be quite the original. And yes. It's working perfectly and it plays well. Perfectly nice game, really smooth. You can play this on the TV and on the handheld itself. Great, that's a lot of fun. So Adventure Island 3 should be working, looks good, yeah looks pretty much like the original one is it just me or is all the different parts of adventure island pretty much the same like the graphics in this part are slightly better but somehow the rest is always the same the same fruits the same enemies the same hammers the same fires the same background same spiders same snakes, everything is always the same in all of these Adventure Island parts. What is this stuff? Gradius! What a great game! I remember this game. Uh, I think I was playing this... The first time I was playing this was on, the, on my Game Boy. And oh boy, that was fun. What a great game. But it was difficult. It's not an easy game, right? It's a great game definitely worth playing. If you haven't played Gradius yet, you definitely should have a look at this game. It's just awesome. It's a lot of fun. You can choose different power-ups and stuff. And uh, it's a great game. Definitely worth playing. So then we have this next space shooter, Life Force. Also an awesome game from Konami. Um, it plays pretty much the same than Gradius, but I think personally uh, Life Force is, well, kind of, um, how should I put it, like, it plays like a bit more developed in a way. It, 
it runs smooth, a bit smoother than this Gradius we were just playing. You have different power-ups and it's just a great game. It's so much fun, but it's kind of difficult. I already played this like a few minutes and uh, it is great, it is great. Turtles 1! Is it the NES one? Yes it is! Japanese version. Oh boy, what a great game. What a great game. I love to play this on the NES when I was a kid. And boy, was this a hard game. Man, this game was tough. I don't know. I think um, today it might appear a bit easier than when I was a child. But it's still hard. It is still hard. Uh, I remember, uh, especially in the end, this game was incredibly hard. And when I was a kid, there was this stage where you have to dive through the water with your oxygen containers or what. And that was, yeah, that was hard as a kid because you just couldn't figure out well, uh, where you can find those containers to get oxygen and stuff. But yeah, I recommend this game. It's awesome. It's just not your average game. It's kind of really weird, difficult, and really challenging. It's a great game. 33, Chip and Dale, yes! Oh, that was a great game on the NES. I remember this one. You can play it with two players, then you can choose Chip uh, or Dale. In the Europe is Chip and Chab. Oh yes, what a great game. I used to play this with my friend back in the days. And boy, we had fun with this game. Uh, I mean, even if you play this game alone, uh, it's so much fun. I would love to do a whole review about this game. It is so cool. This game is just amazing. You have to collect these flowers and stuff. And I also loved the, the series as a kid when I was young. Every Saturday there was this Disney Club show in TV and uh, first we watched uh, this series and then we played the game together. Man, that was good times, good times, good memories. Then we have Chip and Chop Part 2, Chip and Dale Part 2. I hope it's really the second part and I hope it will work fine. Yeah, that looks good. Japanese version. Good luck. Okay, we got the intro, yeah, that looks good. Uh, to be honest with you, I never played the second part on the NES. I only played the first part, which was great already. But I'd love to play this part because I really love the first part. And I would also like to do a review about this game. Cool. Chip and Dale part 3, is it the real one? Uh, I don't know, was there a third part, 1995? Oh, I doubt it. Mission destroy enemies underground artillery base. <laughs> I doubt so. What the... Eh? What the heck is this? Oh my goodness! What is this? Grenade throwing hamsters? Oh man, I was looking forward for to a third part of Chip and Dale, like, no! Holy crap, what is this? Is this supposed to be Rambo or what? Let me know in the comments. Oh, you even got this shotgun, this spread gun from Contra. Nice. -er. <laughs> okay, well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows this game? Please let me know in the comments. It sucks. Next game, Hot Blood Basketball. I was never a big fan of sport games. Uh, oh, this looks like a, um, like a typical Dunk Heroes. It looks like a typical uh, Japanese game to me. Or is it a... American game, I don't know. 
I've never played this game before. Probably not released in Europe. Ah. Uh, okay, maybe you need some practice here. Oh, interesting. If this game really exists for the NES, uh, it looks kind of interesting. It reminds me of uh, this uh, soccer game on the NES. Okay. Well, yes. Hot Blood Story. Never heard about this one. Techno is Japan. Oh, another fighting game with those guys here. A lot of Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. Okay, is this a double dragon ripoff? Let's hope it's a good one. Um. Well, it doesn't play too bad, to be honest with you. Uh, the graphics are a bit poor, but if you play this with a friend, it actually could be fun. Um, the gameplay is not too bad, right? Yeah, it's kind of cool. Hot Blood High School. Another fighting game, yeah, same company, same signs here. Um, let's see what that is. Oh, this time it's soccer. Okay, yeah, this is the Super World Championship Soccer. I don't remember the name exactly. This is the, um, the typical soccer game we were used to on the NES. was a great game, by the way, if you had was I think one of, one of the first games you could play with uh, four players in total which was actually great fun Double Dragon, there we go Yep, and it's even the original one Double Dragon for the NES What a great game I just remember like uh, I don't remember which part it was I think it was the Double Dragon 2 part uh, played slightly better than the first part or was it the other way around yeah gameplay is great yeah that's a lot of fun cool game then for sure we have the double dragon 2 yeah I played this one the music is unforgettable burned in my head yeah great game what a great game. With a two players mode, this game is just fun. So, is there Double Dragon 3? Yes, there is. Acclaim this time. Japanese stuff. Let's see if it's the original one. I think I never played it. But it looks kind of... Um, it looks good. Yeah, could be the original one. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Double Dragon 4. Definitely never played Double Dragon 4. Does it really exist? Okay. Do you know this game? I'm just pressing all the buttons, but there is no reaction. 1991, one of the latest NES games then? Okay. Eh? What am I supposed to do here? Um, okay, this kind of sucks. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here. <laughs> I don't think this is an ori original one. It kind of sucks. Okay, next one. Tiny Toon Adventures. I think we already played this one before with a Mario uh, head on it. Or, or was it another one? 
Not quite sure, yes, we already had this before. It's actually a nice game, I really like this game. And this one, this time it's the, it's the original one. So we have this game already twice on this handheld. Uh, which is not a big problem because there are many nice games uh, we were playing so far. Ninja Gaiden, who doesn't know this game? Very famous game for the NES. I never played this when I was a kid, but I heard a lot about this game in various um, YouTube channels and it's supposed to be one of the hardest games on the NES. And I'm really happy I bought this Chinese handheld here so I can finally play this game and see if it's really as hard as people tell uh, on different YouTube channels. Uh, it looks, the graphics look a bit fuzzy, but it plays really well. Cool, can't wait to play this game. So, next one is Goonies. Yeah, who doesn't remember the Goonies? Uh, there was a great uh, movie about the Goonies. The music is nice, reminds me of the movie, I think. Also, I remember playing the second part of the Goonies on the NES, uh, which I really liked. It was a great part. Just listen to the music, such a great music. Uh, but I didn't see the second part yet. Unfortunately. Battle City. Never heard about this game. Uh oh. Doesn't look good to me. Ah, you can even choose the stages. Uh, this game could actually be fun if you don't play it alone but like this is just a piece of crap in my opinion I never played this before but it doesn't look really attractive to me hmm no then we have tank a 1990 I hope it's not in battle city but I fear so it's exactly the same oh okay this is really poor exactly the same game but a different name this is poor. Tetris 2. Cool. Isn't this Tetris 1? To be honest with you, with you, I... I, to be honest with you, I never played Tetris on the NES. Only played this on the Game Boy. I think if you play this with two players, it could be fun. Chinese chess. Oh my god. I don't know how to play Chinese chess. Um, some people already tried to explain this to me. But I think I'm just not patient enough. Go Moku. Something Japanese? Probably. Oh, this kind of game, right? So what do I do here? Okay, I don't know how to play this game. Okay. I think my opponent is not allowed to have three or four in a row, something like this. Is this correct? I think now he won. Yeah, he won. Okay. I know this game. Cool. Ma Yong, Ma Jiang in Chinese. Okay. You know this game, I think. Yeah, we don't need to have a look at this one. Ye are Kung Fu. Uh, I think we might skip the Mahjong because it's exactly the same. We continue with the Ye are Kung Fu. 
Oh no. <laughs> well, yes, I think it says it all. Spartan X. A war game, another tank game. No, another kung fu fighting game. Yeah, it's the classic kung fu game. I was playing this on an arcade somewhere, but I think this also exists for the NES. Actually a really classic game. 1942. Okay, it's kind of a flying game. I heard about this I think I saw this game somewhere, but it was a different one. The sound is absolutely horrible. Mm. I don't think I want to play this anymore. Metros! A chess game? Eh? Hello? What is this? Huh? Oh, it was supposed to be a fighting game. Something Japanese or Chinese? What the? Ah, another guy? Oh, uh, okay. It is. It plays far too fast. Uh, it's good to handle, but uh, it's kind of fast. Well, it could be fun. It could be fun. You have this life bar on top. Okay. Well, maybe we will see about this in another video. Then we have Circus Charlie. Never heard about this one. Also, a two players mode. The two players mode is really cool. <laughs> so much fun to play these crappy games with a good friend of yours. Do I get any money here for collecting, jumping through the rings with my lion? Oh. So, Bomberman, yes! And it's the NES one! What a great game for the NES, very classic. Uh, yeah, it's the standard Bomberman. We all know this game. Also, this game, play this with a friend. Don't play it alone. It's so much fun when you play this with a friend. Then we have Load Runner and Load Runner 2. I remember playing my first Load Runner on the computer, the first Pentium, I think, or even before. I'm not sure. But I didn't know there's something like this on the NES. Okay, I already died. Let's try Load Runner 2, maybe this reminds me more of the PC version back then. It was a great game on the computer. Okay. Yeah, it kind of plays the same. But it's very basic, very, very basic. Oh, I screwed up again. So, there we have another famous game for the NES, Ice Climber. I heard a lot about this game, but I never played it, to be honest with you. When I was a kid, and um, it actually could be fun to play this for the first time of my life. I don't even know what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Can I figure this out? Donkey Kong! We have three different parts here. I for sure remember Donkey Kong for the NES. Yeah, it's the classic one. Oh, 
Okay. I never played this on the NES. This is basically the first time in my life that I'm playing original Donkey Kong on this Chinese handheld, which is kind of funny. Donkey Kong Jr. Okay, that was this one. Right. Donkey Kong 3. Okay. Yeah, I somehow remember this one. And I never played this as well. This is the first time in my whole life that I played the original, I mean not the original one, but this Donkey Kong style games on the NES. Kind of weird. So, Arkanoid, yeah, this is a famous game. I played this very often on the PC when I was a kid. And I don't know about you, maybe you find this game kind of boring, but in a way, I always thought this game is kind of relaxing. Um, kind of meditating or it's like contemplating, meditating when you play this game. You try to clear up all of those bricks and you get this cannon here, which I think is the best thing you can have to clear up all of those bricks here. Actually a really cool game. I enjoyed this game a lot. You can also play it in a two players mode. 100 meter dash. Another sports game? Yes. Do we have to do this? Oh. 110 meter hurdles. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, it's exactly the same. Addition! What is this? A mathematics game? <laughs> no way! It's a mathematics game. So what are you supposed to do here? <laughs> oh, this is so Chinese. Oh my goodness. Oh. So after this headache giving mathematics game, let's try Ether 2. Yeah, Ether. 2000! Oh, what a new game. Cool. Um. Okay. Aimless! Getting clueless here. Oh, what is this? This is supposed to be a 3D shooter. Oh. Come on, die already. Oh, sucks. Aerial hero. Okay, it's basically the same without the sea. Fucking shit. So, air umbrella. Don't tell me it's the same kind of crappy game. Isn't this, isn't this a ripoff of another um, NES game, or do I mix up something here? Angel, what could this be? <laughs> really? Uh, anglerfish? Anglerfish? Is this supposed to be German? <laughs> what the... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are through uh, another 50 games on this portable console. Uh, hope you like the video. Please stay tuned for my third part of this video. And if you haven't watched my first part of the video, just have a look and you can see where I bought this console. For more information, see the details below. You are the